Well, the 32nd annual Sir Thomas Sunrise Warrior Liftathon kicked off today at Brainerd High School with more than 100 lifters signed up to participate. Our reporter Ryan Bowler has the story for this week's Northwoods Adventure. The first of the three day 32nd annual Sir Thomas Sunrise Warrior Liftathon kicked off today. It started as a result of a, we used to have a weightlifting team actually here at the high school, but we found that the only kids that were in the weight room were the weightlifting team kids. So we wanted to make this available to all students, grades 8 through 12, which is what it's been all along. 140 kids, grades 8 through 12, made up of nine different fundraising teams with 14 to 16 lifters on each team. We have 90 guys, 50 girls. So it's certainly not just a guy thing. Strength is for, for everyone. So um, kids are excited. It's a, primarily a fundraiser for the Sertoma Club of Brainerd. Uh, we use the money raised to uh, donate to local charities in the, in the community, Kinship Partners, Soup Kitchen, uh, you know, among many others. Lifters will also lift for a scholarship awarded to one girl and one guy who has the best MPPO, which is a measurement of a lifter's overall strength compared to their body weight in bench press, power clean, and the squat. A lot of these kids lift year-round to get ready for this. All our school records, lifting records, are kept from this event. Speaking of school records, the Brainerd Power Clean record was broken today with a 345-pound lift. You know, honestly, I've been, I've been grinding for a long time for this. It's really, I've been looking forward to it too long time, and I took all my energy out on it. I'm a little fatigued, but I put my everything into that. Got to thank the guys for cheering me on and having an awesome strength coach, Logan McKellefresh. While some students might be there to lift with friends and others there to shatter records and attack their own personal goals, everyone participating has something in common. Our youth is still very willing to participate in activities that benefit the community. That's the, that's the number one reason I think that kids are in it, and I think the community's really come to accept that and support it. Uh, we, we average between fifteen dollars and $20,000 raised every year. Over the years we've been doing it, we've raised between five dollars and $600,000. There are two more days of the event, and it's anticipated that several top 10 performances of all time will take place. Reporting in Brainerd with this week's Northwoods Adventure, I'm Ryan Bowler, Lakeland News. The event is free and open to the public, and it goes on for two more days, tomorrow and Thursday, beginning at 3.30. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.